ISBM, your first step towards right career. Now um, that you have understood what is communication and uh, the importance of communication, etc. Now we go to the different types of communication skills. As I told you, the communication can be categorized into broadly into two categories. One is the verbal skills and one is the non-verbal skills. So uh, one is the verbal skills and one is the non-verbal skills. So today, uh, I mean, uh, right now I'm going to tell you or uh, focus on some non-verbal communication skills. So non-verbal, what uh, as the word suggests, the non-verbal communication which includes Verbal, what does the word verbal mean? Verbal means something which includes words. So where we are not using words, it becomes non-verbal. So all the places where words are not used, it is a non-verbal communication. Where words are not used, it is a non-verbal communication. Non-verbal communication is a system of symbolic behavior that includes all forms of communication except words which we were talking about that is body language means except words whatever we are using is a non-verbal communication so if you are using colors posters chart map graphs symbols signals signs um, gestures posture, facial expression or any such things which don't use words but, but through which you are conveying your message, it is a non-verbal communication. Understood? So, a non-verbal communication can be divided majorly into two categories. One is visual images and the other one is body language. In visual images will come all the things like Diagrams, bars, graphs, charts, posters, maps, colors, signals, symbols and all these things. They will come in the visual images. And the second is body language. In body language will come three parameters importantly. One is your facial expressions. Second is your body, uh, second is your gestures and third is your posture. So these three things will uh, be uh, the part of your body language and the third parameter of non-verbal communication is para language. Para language is called can be called as a borderline between verbal and non-verbal communication. A borderline means where you are uh, sharing a border between verbal and non-verbal categories. Uh, which uh, a para language is something which is non-verbal -verbal, but which is always a part of your oral language is non-verbal communication. So non-verbal communication is a system of behaviors that includes all forms of communication. So now one important thing as said by Peter Drucker it is very clearly written here, the most important thing in communication is to hear what is not being said. Means, non-verbal communication is very important. What I am telling you, you will understand it. But what I am not telling you, means what is reflected out of my body language. It is very important for you to understand what is not being said and that is what will make the communication enhancing or useful or important. So, uh, important means meaningful. So, uh, according to Peter Drucker, as it is, he has rightly said, the most important thing in communication is to hear what is not being said. So, concentrate on your body language. You might convey many things through your body language which you actually don't want to convey. So, monitor your body language properly so that you are able to convey the right message to the people. Your body language should not convey something wrong. So, because many people read you through your body language along with your words. So, it is important to correct your body language because if you don't use a proper body language, then you might uh, convey a, a wrong message or it can become unmeaningful at some places. 
now non verbal communication types of non verbal communication one is um, here we are going to talk about the different types of non verbal communication and the different types of non verbal communication uh, as you can see here on the slide the major uh, uh, the major <coughs> types are first is kinetic second is para language next is artifacts next is proximate and then is chronemics these are the technical words which i know you will not understand it now but when i will tell you about these you will be able to understand them let us take them one by one my friend my students uh, one is first is kinetics so kinetics is the technical term 